And Zach, can you tell us what the NG gene does? Well... Hey guys, 2021, we need to go talk about snakes in the snake barn. Head out guys, and check it out. My name's Chris Davenport with These Balls. And I'm Zach Bueller of Bueller Reptiles. And today we're going to look at the Inchi Gene. And Zach, can you tell us of what the Inchi Gene does? Well, I believe it's a codom gene. Correct. So, so it does have a super form. Correct. Uh, has nice banding effect with some orange hues on the side. Yeah. Um, goes well with you know certain morphs like calico and uh, Bastel. Right. <laughs> right. Desert Ghost. You know. Desert Ghost. I mean, there's Desert. a lot of different, you know. Yeah, so it's kind of a staple in a lot of people's collection right Ab now. Absolutely. Yeah, so you know, um, we're going to show off some of those animals today. We got some packages in this week, and I want to thank everybody that sent us in stickers and shirts. And I want to thank Dr. Squatch for finally getting me my soap so I don't smell anymore. Yeah. So thank you it's very much. It's gorgeous for me every week. So, I'm telling you right now. Um, we got some stickers, we got a shirt, and we got this soap I'm super excited about. So. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, it is. It's a Dr. Squatch Bay Rum and Alpine Sage. I used it today. Um, grapefruit IPA. Oh, it's great. Lather. So how do you feel? You I feel, feel fresh. Do you? Very fresh. But nice. it's super lathery um, and stuff like that. So I highly re um, recommend it. Recommend the Dr. Squatch. So Signature Morph sent us some stickers. So thank you, Clayton, for the stickers. Pretty cool. Second one, and, and Clayton's from Winnetachi, Washington. All right, so then the next one came from Daddy Daughters Reptile. And this kind of hits close because both of us work with our daughters and reptiles. Um, they are from Nicholsville, Kentucky. Um, they sent a business card. Um, Joe Rally, great sticker, you know, daddy, his daughter, um, holding snakes, walking hand in hand. Thank you for the stickers. Pretty cool. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's not bad looking. That's right. You're, that's, it's it's that's your favorite idea. color. So this, this one comes from Atypical Exotic Origins, Atypical Origins Exotic. You know, I sent them a couple shirts and a hat, and um, I want to th say thank you. Um, definitely, they sent me a, a pink shirt back on the front and on the back. They're not slacking. That'll go good with your uh, your jean cutoff shorts. Uh, yeah, definitely. So right here we have a lesser inchy Mario um, female. So, you know, one of the characteristics with the Inchi is the banding, um, right. you know, some golden hue, um, and then you also get um, some, some chocolatey in it, um, as you can see. With this one, the Mario, you know, you can see the Inchi influence with the striping and the kind of chocolate hue on it. So right here, we have a lesser inchy Mario female. All right, so right here we have an inchy calico yellow belly. And um, the calico is a low white calico. Um, you know, with calico you get it, but again. Yeah, you can see the calico that sort of comes out on the side, the white. Yeah, and then with the inchy you get the banding. And also the orange. The orange in it. Um, and then you also get the chocolatey up top 
um, with it and the contrast. And then the yellow belly kind of brings up the light color. Ooh, Ooh. I tell you, she's feisty. A little on this tonight. Yeah, these these ones are feisty. But right here is a inchy calico yellow belly. That's so, nice. Coming. coming through the white, and then you got the you know that orangey yellowish color along super crazy belly. This is another inchy calico yellow belly. Woo, you can definitely see that calico popping out, huh? Yeah, so this would be a high white calico with the inchy and the yellow belly. And I've got three of these and they're all different and they came from Garrick the Meyer. Um, you know, so, I mean, great looking snake. Um, you know, the inchy and the calico are um, part of, you know, the campfire project. You know, so when you have those genes, I bought, you know, a bunch of bunch of snakes with that, trying to recreate and put my own version onto the Inchi Calico and the Black Pastel or Cinnamon or, or one of those blackhead genes and stuff like that. And that's where, you know, you see like this girl, she's been locked up to the lesser Hatari. So, you, really? Yeah, and you know, mm. I'm excited to see because, you know, with the lesser, put that into it and see what the Hatari does with the pixelation and you kind of see with this. So I took the high white one and put that to the lesser Hatari and then I, I paired the other ones with the other genes to see what it does. But you can kind of see the banding, you know, right through here of the inchy on this. And then the calico really brings through. All right, so right here, um, we have a super inchy desert ghost head hypo. And you can kind of see with this one, it, when you do super inchy, it kind of reduces the banding and comes more compact. And, um, you know, just overall cleans it up. You still get the coloration of the inchy. But then Desert Ghost and the head hypo influence um, really brightens. brightens up the backside versus being more of a brown. It seems like it's more almost like a you know, goldish yellow kind of influence. I mean, yeah, and that's the Desert Ghost and the head hypo influence of um, you know keeping it this light color, um, not browning out, um, being um, super. Yeah, even the uh, the bandings are a lot lighter. Yeah, but you can see how they're not as busy. They're more compact. Yep. You know, that's with the Desert Ghost influence um, on it, cleaning it up um, as the Desert Ghost is a clean gene, recessive. So right here is a Super Inchy DG head hypo female. All right, so here we have an Inchy Pied. So this is a female that we got from Tony with Hardwired. Um, you know, one thing with the inchy that I see, you get more of the markings. You can kind of see the banding going across in the saddles. That's one of the more high white inchy pies I've seen. Yeah, because most of the time, the very they, low uh, white. Yeah, if any. Yeah, low white. If any, a lot of, a lot of. Um, a lot of markings, a lot of saddles and stuff like that, but you can kind of see along the saddles that orange coming out um, of the inchy, and then you have that darkness again. So it's really, it's really. Uh, I, I, I knew something like that was gonna happen, man. Yeah, Just looking so at it. you gotta be fast <laughs> like a ninja. So, anyways, she Ooh, is uh, very feisty, and we're gonna put her up. But right here, we have a inchy. A mean <laughs> snake. <laughs> yeah, we have an inchy pie. Thank you, Tony, for this one. All right, so right here, we have the Campfire Plus One. So, this is an inchy calico black pastel pastel pinstripe female. That's a lot to. What? Yeah. It's an inchy calico black pastel pastel pinstripe calico. So you can kind of see the pinstripe coming along. Um, you can see the pastel in the back. You know, you've made some black pastel pastels, you know, fighting over the headspace. 
Um, it kind of gives that gray hue to it. And then you have the Inchi and the Calico, you know, and um, the Black Pastel, um, giving it the color along the sides, which is the white with the light oranges across it. So this is another female. So this is a Campfire Plus One. So what we got here? Well, here we have uh, two females been raising up. This is a Enchi Fire Pastel Calico. Nice. And uh, she's getting pretty close to about 1,200 grams. Um, so I'll get a little more size to her, but. So you can see with the one we just showed, the Enchi and the Calico, you know, fighting in here, you know, given that same color hue palette as the one that we just showed. I mean, you can tell with the, uh, the fire, it's basically, it's a firefly, but you can tell with the, uh, the inch, it definitely helps out with the bandings and stuff, with the calico, you yeah. know, with the high white sides, kind of has a lot of um, yellowish hue, makes it really sharp. And this one is the albino black pastel inchy. I like that. You know, when getting inchy into the albino, a lot of times it washes it out, you know, that you don't see that... You know, we, we talk about the pie, you know, that was like, had a lot of white to it, but usually it washes it out. And I think the same thing happens with the albino gene. When you put inchy into it, it washes a lot of the white out. Because, you know, a yeah, black pastel absolutely. pie is really a high contrast albino. So, you know, I mean, great looking snake. And you can still see kind of the, the pattern hold, holding, even though it is... What? The pattern. Oh, pattern. Okay. Yeah, the pattern holding, okay. even though it is starting to color in, because eventually what happens with the albino enchi, it's almost like you can't see anything. But it's the just, black, the black pastel is actually holding the, you know, the pattern to it. Great looking snakes. Both females. Both females. Nice. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, looking at the enchi gene with us this week and next week. We uh, will bring you a new gene so that we have here. Um, like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. Um, they're all appreciated. That's right. Yeah. And, and send me some stickers. I want some stickers, please. Yeah. I'm just, and, and I'm just too cheap to buy some. So when I do, trust me, I'll get them back. At the you. bottom of the screen, maybe Matt will roll Zach's address. <laughs> Fresh off the bat nine, Jeffy's putting for dough and looking like a million bucks in his blue v-neck t-shirt and floral cap from these balls. He's sure to turn some heads at the driving range in these blue argyle shorts, matching socks, and golf shoes from Adidas. Tune in next week to see what Jeffy's wearing next. These balls, always earned, never given.